Ahoy, me hearties. Captain Dead Eye Jack here again with another sailing tip. Uh, today we're going to go over damage control. How to keep your boat afloat. Um, this is a pretty helpful skill to uh, learn because sometimes you can get into battles and they just become a war of attrition. You know, who runs out of supplies first. So, what I wanted to show you guys today is, as you can see, going to uncharted waters. So... Um, I've only come with enough planks that automatically come with the ship. And uh, we're just going to try and keep this boat afloat as long as we can. Ah, oh, the visuals on this game are amazing. I love those skull clouds. I need to start taking out more skeleton forts. Only done a couple so far, so. Anyway. So as you can see, uh, prior priority with uh, any damage control type of situation. I mean, obviously, is keeping your boat afloat. But you want to plug holes before you bail only time you start bailing before you're plugging holes and you'll see as a uh, I'm demonstrating this is when it's getting real real close to sinking so this water can go up for a while it can go all the way up to right about the chart table right there where your maps at or your chart so whenever you're doing repairs um, with your crew members designate one guy to do the other thing if you if you have more holes than water I mean obviously fill up all the holes first that should always be a priority but if it's a losing battle make sure you got somebody else I'll always designate somebody else to help you tell them to do something not just hey come help me repair it's hey either plug holes or bail water you need to do one of them so um, it's always good to you it's always good as a captain even as a crew member to know everybody's role on the ship so you know what to uh what you uh, what you're supposed to do and what somebody else is supposed to do now also with the sloops which is nice as you guys can see here is if you got good aim you can get that water right out the window but you saw as I just did I, I, I threw the water against the hull or the bulkhead and it immediately went right back into the bilge filling up again so um, if I remember correctly uh, here pretty soon uh, I actually don't sink I just straight get teleported off my boat I guess that's like the mechanic when you go off a off the uh, charts here because I was still managing to fight this but uh I remember correctly teleports me off real quick like but, uh, yeah if you're a solo person you got the supplies you can keep this thing up and going the only thing that's going to stop you is uh whoever shot you up or wherever you got damage from there's possibility they're going to try to board and you will be vulnerable um that's why it's good to kind of have a third eye uh know where stuff is know uh what egress routes they're going to take to you uh, obviously, it's just going to be stairs, but, you know, it's just good to have all these things in your head. So, anyway, got teleported off the boat there. Watch that beautiful baby leap with the fishes. That's cheesy. <laughs> all right, well, looks like I'm being teleported back to my new ship. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, hopefully, can help you guys learn some stuff and uh, be badass sailors out there. Until then, fair wind following seas, friends.